I have the opportunities to welcome uh, quite a few number of people from overseas Philippines included, Indonesia and others even, that come here and serve us. Praise God. Unfortunately, however, some of them, they're just very unethical. They've come here and they would just keep in contact, not as friends. If it's as friends, no problem at all. I would find suddenly some of the disciples that I have been discipling, turns out they have been discipled, extra discipled, by those guests coming from overseas. Now you may think that, okay, but you're so close, my pastor. What's so wrong about that? Indeed, there is something wrong about that. We cannot have two leadership because it will create confusion. There's nothing wrong to choose one over the other. That's fine because then it's clear. There's different seasons. Sometimes you have a season here and a season there. But you cannot have one season here and there together. You can't. You gotta make up your mind whether you want to eat at Jollibee or at McDonald's. You can't just say, oh, well, I want to have the Sunday at Jollibee, but I want to have the burger at McDonald's. And then you come back and forth. It just doesn't make sense. Can you do that? You can, because you have the right, and, and you can walk back and forth. Really, you can, but what would it do to you, especially eating and running around here and there? How could you actually consume those food? If any, you can choke. That's exactly the same thing as well. You can't just go around here and there, here and there, you know, because you will choke because you're being fed the spiritual food. Sometimes different doctrines from here and there. You get one doctrine that tells you this, and then you get another one from here. And you end up choking with the various different doctrines. There's nothing wrong with the different doctrines. Because I believe if God allows them to be around, they're supposed to build one another. But that's exactly it. They're supposed to build one another. Not fouling one another, not slamming. But this is what's happening, church. Those who come from a non-charismatic Pentecostal background would point a finger at churches like us. What is that speaking in tongues? Look, if you don't believe, it's okay. Then it's not for you. This season is not for you. I didn't believe. I was one of those people who would attend a Pentecostal church. And every time people started going to the front and they started falling down, you know what I did from the very back? Oh, I was so against laying my hands because I came from that kind of church. But I would stood up doing this without realizing I was actually being a Pharisee. And I was looking at the people around and this is what I had inside my mind. Didn't say it out loud, but this is what I said. Don't fall down in the name of Jesus. Don't fall down in the name of Jesus. Don't fall down. I thought I was the only one. And the more I grow in the church and in the ministry, unfortunately, I've met with a lot of leaders who unfortunately, I would say, are unwise enough to waste their time on, you know, picking on different doctrines, differences between churches. When I encounter these type of people, I would usually be very straightforward, of course. I'll say, well, this is how this church is going because this is what the Lord has given me as the leader of the church. Until the leader is replaced, of course then I would have to submit to the next leader. I'm not saying we're perfect, but neither are you. This is what I would say. And for that, I would have to respect you and so should you, me. Rather than fouling one another. Oh, he's doing this. And the same thing with the Pentecostal background church. We look at the traditionally based churches and so easy for us to 
just say, see, that's the reason why you guys are losing people. You're irrelevant with the era nowadays. It may be true, but I certainly believe it's not the only reason people start to leave the church. It's because what the world is offering seems to be much more attractive than what we're offering. Then I think, as a church, we should not focus too much on relevance, but we should focus on relationship rather than relevance. When you focus too much on relevance, that's exactly it. Either you start to become more relevant with the world, or even when you become too relevant with your own doctrine, that you just keep on criticizing other people. Is that what you do? Rather than focus on your doctrine, but relational based. Yes, this is our church. As an assembly of God, we've got 16 fundamental truths that I posted on Facebook already. 16 fundamental truths of doctrines, a set of doctrines that we believe as a church, that we follow, and all the assemblies of God all around the world follow. We should focus on this, agree, to grow. Not focus on this to attack other people. This is 16 fundamental of truth for the assemblies of God, not for the Catholic, not for the Methodist. They all have their own as well. So we should respect too. And the same way, they should respect our 16 fundamental of truth as well. We must respect theirs and they must respect ours. That way we don't waste our time. They will not go to heaven. Who am I? I'm not God. I don't know. I don't know if, if Catholics is the right one. I don't know if, if the Protestant is the right one. I don't know if the same is it. But what I know for sure is Jesus is the way and the truth and the life. And I am growing in the assemblies of that church. And I will not just go around because I think that church is bigger. Or people say that that church is right. Or just because people tell me that what you're doing is wrong. I don't care if what you're doing what you say that I'm, what I'm doing is wrong. What I know is I'm growing in this church and I'm going to stay here until I feel that I'm not growing anymore. So don't waste time, church. Don't waste time. Some of you may be called to more serious ministry and become leaders in your own life. And when you get to that point, don't waste your time. But if, what if, what if they, they, they fail you? What if they, 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 they slander you? Just shut your mouth. Yes, shut your mouth. That's okay. You pray over them. Okay? You cannot control what people do, but you can control what you do. Okay?